on the 15th day of October, Halloween gave to me 15 spectral snapshots, 14 mothers murdering, 13 prices bleeding, 12 models dying, 11 Betty's baking, 10 prices burning, 9 seagulls pecking, 8 scientists sneaking, 7 Goldwyn shooting, 6 psychic scamming, 5 naked witches, 4 aliens spelunking, 3 UFO abductions, 2 deputy so-and-sos, and a mass talk being creepy. Hey there, welcome to uh, another episode of the 31 Days of Halloween. I am your companion through this ghostly journey. Uh, my name is Bo. Uh, you may know me from the Dark Parade. If you are listening to this on the Legion podcast feed, you can always subscribe to the Dark Parade on the podcast catcher of your choice. And likewise, if you are listening on the Dark Parade feed, be sure you're listening to the Legion podcast feed, uh, which you can also find on the podcast catcher of your choice. There, I did all the in stuff at the beginning because sometimes I like to change it up. Okay, so we have looked at Blumhouse movies, we've looked at classic horror movies, and then yesterday we started off with a, a, a review, if you will, a sampling, a poo-poo platter of spooky <laughs> Asian horror films. And we have found ourselves in Thailand for the movie Shudder. And a lot of people, have seen Shudder. And so I'm not breaking new ground here in saying that Shudder is amazing. Uh, I will say that Shudder is one of my favorite things uh, to come out of Thailand. It is one of my favorite ghost movies. Uh, there is another one that we will get to in a, in a couple of days that may be better. In fact, I think it is better than Shudder. But Shudder has maybe my favorite last shot of any horror movie. Um, I just adore it. And the thing about Shudder is that it doesn't necessarily do anything new. It just does everything that it does well. And so what, what is the story of Shudder, you may ask? Um, so Shudder is a movie about uh, a group of friends and uh, one of them's about to get married and everything is happy and wonderful. And then uh, one of the friends ends up committing suicide. And also the guy, the main character of our movie named Toon. And Toon is a photographer uh, for the friend and took some pictures of them that night. And we start to see... Uh, that the pictures didn't develop right, but the, it, it's a problem with the negative. There's a really good scene where Toon is giving the business to the guy who developed this film. And uh, he's like, hey man, that was on the negative. Look here, uh, these smudgy faces that you got with all your friends. Uh, that there's a curse, my friend. That is not bad photography. You are straight up haunted. And uh, so he's got his girlfriend, Jane, who is uh, along for the ride as well. And, you know, they see some creepy stuff in his apartment, but a lot of the movie is, you know, hey, there's some, some creepy stuff going on, especially as it relates to photography and, you know, the, the smudgy faces to indicate like, oh, these people are, are definitely cursed and are going to die and trying to get to the bottom of it. Like, why are we cursed? And there's, a, again, None of this is new, right? Like th this sounds like every Asian horror movie you ever saw, but there's a great scene where they go to uh, a guy who specializes in spectral photography and he runs a magazine where they doctor some images, but he says like, yeah, yeah, we do that because, you know, we got to sell some magazines here, but there was the real thing. There are, there is such a thing as real ghost photography in here. Let me show you what that looks like. And if you're seeing this kind of thing, then it, what it means is that the ghost haunting you has unfinished business and you've just got to figure out what that is. And so that kind of kicks off the mystery portion of Shudder, which is who is this ghost that's haunting Toon and what do you have to do to get rid of her? And then Toon, and then slight spoilers for Shudder, 
Uh, in fact, I'm just going to spoil all of Shudder. So if you've never seen Shudder, Shudder is a terrific Halloween movie. It is incredibly creepy. It's really eerie. Uh, just hit pause right now. Go watch Shudder and then come back and listen to this later. Because you don't want the ending spoiled. Trust me. Um, and it, it's available on Shudder. <laughs> Shudder is on Shudder. Uh, I think it's on Amazon Prime even. Anyway, you can find it. Uh, it. Worst case scenario, you gotta rent this for like three or four bucks. Make sure you're getting the one from Thailand, not the American remake, which is terrible. So, uh, actually, it may not be terrible. It's been so long since I've seen it, I don't even remember. But I should go back and watch that. Anyway, so once the mystery portion of Shudder begins, the question is who is this girl, which it turns out Tun kind of knows who it is. Once he, he starts seeing her around and he's like, all right, here's what happened. There was this weirdo girl that we went to high school with and we were in love, but you know, I kind of kept it on the down low and I ended up, uh, sort of in, for lack of a better word, ghosting her in favor of his friends. And so they track this girl down to her home village and her mother is like, oh yeah, 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 uh, you know, she's just in the other room. And so they go in to check on her and she's just a corpse. And they're like, holy shit, she is dead as fuck. And the mother's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's what happened. And you get the part of the story from the mother and then part of the story later uh, from the local priest. And basically she came home, she was despondent. Uh, she tried to kill herself and, and ultimately succeeded. Um, and Abby was just because she was depressed about what had happened. And the idea is like, Hey, was this because Toon just kind of ghosted on her or is this something more? And of course it turns out to be something more. There was a really terrible, uh, event where Toon and his friends uh, assaulted her and so she has been going through this roster of friends basically creeping them out until they're, they commit suicide rather than live with uh, this ghost popping out at them all, all the time and which is great, I'm all for that and uh, anyway, so what makes Shudder so special is that like all of this is really creepy. It kind of uh, reaches this crescendo where the ghost is um, haunting both Toon and Jane and walking on the ceiling and just looking generally creepy. It's a really good looking ghost. There's in fact, uh, I use this for the, the post art, but there's this great shot at one point where Toon is talking to Jane in the car and he looks over and the ghost is just peering through the window at, uh, at, at Toon, uh, behind Jane. And it's really creepy and the ghost looks amazing. Um, so all of that stuff really works. And then th there's, uh, they end up burning the body and they assume that they have put the ghost to rest. And, uh, throughout the movie, Toon has been complaining about the fact that his neck is really sore and... So to get rid of the ghost, uh, after they think they've gotten rid of the ghost, uh, Toon is, is still feeling this presence, right? Like there's still stuff popping off around the apartment. So he grabs his handy dandy Polaroid camera and kind of mementos uh, his, his way around the apartment taking pictures because the ghost will show up on the photograph on the Polaroid. And uh, nothing shows up until he happens to catch a picture that shows him his own reflection and he sees that the ghost is sitting on his shoulders, which is incredibly creepy. It's so wonderful. And so there's, you know, him freaking out a little bit. He kind of goes ass over tea kettle off of his balcony and he hits the ground. And the end of the movie is him in the hospital. Uh, and Jane is coming to visit him and he's got part of his, you know, skull uh, stitched up and stuff. So the question is like, is he all there? Like, it, 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 is he kind of brain dead or at least brain damaged or incapacitated, uh, at this point, regardless, if he has any awareness at all, the thing that you see as Jane pushes into his room and the door swings so that you see his reflection in the window is you see that the ghost is still sitting on his shoulders, presumably 
for the remainder of his natural life. And especially if he is in a position where he is incapacitated and stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life, that can be a very long time indeed where this ghost just has the opportunity to torment him for a small eternity. And that is horrifying. <laughs> I love that thought so much. Like, it, I mean, is it terrible? Oh yeah, you betcha. It is a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, but uh, that's what makes Shudder so good. And uh, again, I know I've, I've said this a couple of times now, Shudder isn't reinventing the wheel here. It is telling a pretty traditional revenge kind of ghost story of these people did some fucked up shit. The person that died as a result of it is now haunting them. Fine. That is all well-worn territory. But what makes Shudder amazing is that the execution of it all along the way is really confident. It's really eerie. Uh, it, it is directed by Banjong Pisantanakun. Um, who also recently did the movie The Medium, which is also a banger. And I like the, he's a super talented horror director. I think The Medium is terrific. One of the best movies, uh, especially foreign movies of the past few years, but one of the best horror movies in general. It certainly made my top 10 list last year. It's really scary. And that's a thing that he kind of uh, excels at. Pasantana Kun, I think. Uh, is that he just knows how to make a scene tense and how to deliver on a scare without it being like, it's not super gory. There is nothing in shutter aside from the corpse that you see at one point. That's really, you know, like going for the gross out scare. It's just a good ghost film. And I like a good ghost story. Again, we'll talk about maybe my favorite in a, in a couple of days. But, you know, in terms of, of just being a good riff on this kind of theme, um, it, it's terrific. And, you know, much like other Asian horror, there's something about technology. It's not quite into the J-horror, like one missed calls and so forth, where cell phones are the devil and whatnot. Um, but there is this use of technology as a means of displaying, like, you know, um, the, sort of ghostly and spectral images, uh, but it's it's super scary. And the, and like I'm not gonna get too deep into Shutter as far as themes and that kind of thing. I mean, there is some of that of, uh, you know, of of hidden sins and and pain, uh, not being able to outrun your past and and that kind of thing. But it's just a good ghost story. It's just a good creepy eerie. Uh, gets under your skin, makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up ghost story. And again, if you've never seen Shudder, uh, even though you kind of know what's coming, the visuals are so good. Uh, and if you have seen Shudder and know what I'm talking about, oh man, Halloween is just the best time to go back and revisit it. It's, it's one of those movies that as I start it, I, I'm like, okay, I've seen Shudder. You know, let's, let's sit down with this old friend of my, this cinematic pal. And by the end of it, I'm like, Oh, this is so good. Oh, it's so good. Why don't I watch shutter every day? <laughs> and it's wonderful. So, uh, I'm enthusiastic about this one. As you could probably hear, it's a 90 minute movie. It's not a big run time. It gets in, it gets out. It does exactly what it, it needs to do. And it just scares the hell out of you. Uh, don't watch the, the remake. I, as I said, at some point I need to go back and revisit the remakes of like, you know, Ringu and Shudder and a bunch of those other uh, J horror films, but um, in Asian horror films, Shudder, obviously not Japanese, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, 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 except no substitutes. J go for the original stuff, the real stuff, the one, you know, the uncut Shudder is what you want. So terrific, 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 terrific movie. Uh, this is a good one for turning the lights down. And, and just letting it have its way with you. Uh, so uh, I can't recommend it enough. All right, that's enough for Shudder. Uh, I'm not going to uh, overstay its welcome or mine. Uh, that, that movie has the benefit of being uh, uh, brief, and I will do the same. So uh, just check it out if you haven't. Um, we've got more Asian horror movies to come. So uh, we are just over two weeks into this we're about at the halfway point as of tomorrow we'll be a little over halfway 
Um, I'm very excited with what we've got right around the corner. Some stuff I've never seen, some stuff I definitely have, and is a, just a, a wonder, a wonderful buffet of horror coming our way. Uh, and and we're going to talk about it and have fun with it. As always, go to legionpodcasts.com where you can find this post. And uh, attached to this post are all the social media feeds. I definitely encourage you to follow Legion Podcasts at all of those, but also on the Discord server in particular. If uh, if you want to drop by, let me know what you think of these movies. Uh, if you have recommendations, if you if you want to dispute that Shudder is an all time great ghost story, I mean you're welcome to. You can try to talk me out of it. Uh, I'm not going to be one of those change my mind people. Uh, but I, I you you would have to. You would have to do the Lord's work to to get me to to uh, shake from my belief that Shutter is an all timer. Um, but come over and, and say hello, and we'll talk about what else uh, we've been watching and whatnot. So um, that's it for now. Uh, enjoy your your October fifteenth. Uh, it is only going to get creepier from here. And so until tomorrow, everyone, I'll see you then. Bye.